Hey, Shalani Gordon here, coming to you straight from Atlanta, Georgia, and today we're going to be coming with the new child support system tip number two, okay? The new child support system tip number two. Now, I believe the first tip we talked about time and how valuable your time is. If you didn't see that, make sure you go back and watch that video and really sit down and think about that, okay? It's, it's tip number one for a reason, okay? I want to make sure that you're going through these and you understand why certain things are so important. Okay, so today, tip number two, we're going to discuss time management, scheduling out your day, not procrastinating because you're getting ready to walk into a world that you probably not experienced before. And if you have experienced before, probably situations in life have caused you to kind of revamp and not even go in that direction any longer, right? Now, when it comes to creating that new child support system, what you have to understand is that you will be the one creating it, right? You're not going to have to depend on anybody but yourself. Sometimes that can be scary, and that's okay, right? Express it, feel it, acknowledge it. Just don't let it hold you back. Just don't let it hold you back. So let's talk about this. Go ahead, get some pen and paper out. I'm going to be doing some goal setting. You need to know where you're going before we start. So we already know we want to create the new child support system, but get specific with yourself. How much do you want to create? So when I first came online knowing I needed to do something because I really didn't want to get another job and take myself away from my kids, I knew I had to do something. I knew there was a number, a number that I wanted to create. That number for me was $350. $350 when I first came online, started marketing, I was like, if I could just put an extra $350 in my pocket, I would be good to go. Why did I have that number? Well, it was pretty much the child support that I wasn't getting from my children, from one child anyways. The other five, one child's father was kind of off and on, um, and it still is like that, which I'm glad I have my own child support system so that, you know, whenever it comes, it's a blessing. He's doing his part, and when he's not, it's still okay, right? I don't have to freak out. I don't have to start making my days and my life focused on him, not doing what he's supposed to do. It continues to be focused on my family, my children, and what matters, right? So at the beginning, though, back in 08, $350, that's what I wanted to make, and, and that's what I went after. So I want you to take a moment right now. If you have to, pause this video. Make sure it's quiet where you are. Make sure you're paying close attention, all right? Turn off. Just pause the video and sit here and think for a second and think to yourself what number am I going for be specific don't say oh between two and five or a thousand or some outlandish number. I want ten thousand a month you know let's be be specific okay what would you get if you went out and worked 25 hours extra hours for another job after they took the taxes away because see on this side it's your own business so basically you keep that you pay the government at the end of the year mm-hmm so take a moment. What's that number right now? Be honest with yourself. If you just had an extra X hundred dollars, an extra fifty dollars, extra two fifty, extra five hundred dollars, you know, depending on how many children you have, you know, an extra thousand dollars, an extra eight hundred dollars, seven fifty, seven twenty five, whatever, whatever that number is, write it down. Write it down. That's the goal. That's what we're going for right now. That's the first goal we're going after. Is that number that number okay don't worry about what other people say you should be trying to create or what other people say you need you know what you need you know what, what would make things a lot simpler in your life you decide that number you don't have to ask anybody else you decide that number now that you have that number okay now that you have that number I want you to sit down you already did video one so you know what you're doing with your time right now that you have the number of what you want to create I want you to then just look at your timesheet you did from tip one right and decide how many hours a week how many hours a week do you have to put toward getting that number in, into your household each month how many hours a week are you willing to put toward getting that number into your household each each month for me I was willing to put 20 hours in because I knew I'd probably put 20 hours in making somebody else's dream a reality and get paid way less right so I decided 20 hours a week I always took Saturday and Sunday off because my kids were home and I wanted that time but I put in 20 hours a week okay for you it might be different and that's okay you make a decision on what's best for you how many hours a week are you willing to put into something to create your new child support system okay that's step two so one you write the number that you want each month the income two 
How many hours are you willing to put into getting that income each month? Okay, three. Now that you have that, three. I want you to look at your schedule and go even more specific and decide what hours each day are you going to work. Shalonda, why am I doing this? You're doing this because once you have this locked down, it's a lot, you can then go into it in an organized, time-managed manner. Instead of saying, oh, I'm going to do it when I do it, and then nothing gets done, and then you wake up at the end of the month, and you still don't have any money, and now you're all complaining because, see, this doesn't work, but you didn't do anything in the first place. See, again, like I said at the beginning, this is about you doing it, not having to depend on anybody else, but at the end of the day, when you're not depending on anybody else to do it, the only person you can look at when it doesn't work is you. Ask me how I know, <laughs> right? So this is the reason why this avenue. Now, it might not work for you, you know? I'm just letting you know what's worked for me. I ended up getting that 350 Ended up getting to $7,000 week months. $7,000 months. My highest month was probably seventy six eighty two, I believe. And I remember it because that was the most income I'd ever made in a month, ever. Ever. Okay? To making 30000 a year working for myself at home. Not for somebody else, for myself. And that's what I'm doing now still. So I'm just telling you what has worked when I created the new child support system. And I'm guiding you to do the same. These are the steps that honestly... I would have probably saved a few years because remember, I started in 08, it's 2015. I know I probably would have been a little different, would have been a little further along had I done these steps first. I didn't really have the specific amount. I knew the amount, but I didn't set my schedule. I didn't do that. So I was working when I felt like it and had a few months where I was looking at myself like, Shalonda, what are you doing? And I'm just trying to tell you these things so you can avoid that, that fall, right? You can avoid that altogether. So we have it, the amount, right? How many hours are we willing to put in a week toward getting that amount each month, right? And then specific hours. So basically Monday, I'm going to work from, after I kick in for the kids, 7 to 9 every day, every Monday. Or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm going to work 7 to 9. And then on Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and work 4 hours. And Sunday, I'll give me 4 hours in. Write that. Be specific. So that's your tip for number two is getting the schedule locked down, okay? We're building to something here. We're building something here. So stay tuned for tip number three. Make it a great day. Keep smiling. Bye.